Hey folks, Steve Ramsden here, and this is a preview from my After Effects Essentials mini course. So we're going to get started by learning the After Effects interface, because before we do that, we can't do anything else. So whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you can launch After Effects just by clicking on the icon where it has installed, and then you should see this home screen. And if we head into new project, you should see something like this. And the first thing to do is to save your project somewhere before you do anything else. So let's begin by having a look at these various panels. As I'm clicking on them, you can see that there's a blue line around each one, and you can click on these and drag them to resize these panels if you need to. We're currently seeing this default layout that's highlighted here, and if you ever need to get back to this because you've changed things too much, then you can always go to Window and Workspace and Reset Default to Saved Layout, and it will bring it back. So you can look at these other layouts as well, but I just tend to leave it on default because I think it has everything I need, and also it means that if you ever work on someone else's machine, you can easily find the layout that you know. So let's take a look at the panels. Over here is our project panel. This is where everything's going to live that we are going to use and everything that we're going to make. Then we have this composition panel, which is going to show the work we are going to create. Over at the side here, there are lots of different panels which we will learn about later on. And then at the bottom here is the timeline. This is where we're going to be building what we will make. So if we head back to the project panel first, I always begin by building a few folders to keep everything tidy. And if you come down to this icon here, you can click on that to create a new folder. And I tend to make one that's called assets and one called compositions. And you can also create a new folder just by right clicking and you can see it there. So anything I use in my edit, I'm going to put in assets and then the edits themselves, the actual sequences that we're going to have down here, those are going to live in compositions because that's what they're called. Most other edit programs would call the things you build sequences, but After Effects calls them compositions. So that's what I'm naming the folder. So to get started, we first need to import some footage and we can either do that by coming to file and import and file again, or you can double click on your footage window and it brings up the same thing. And then we navigate around to look for what we want to import. So I'll just grab a few of these shots, which you should have as well. I'm just going to take three of them for now. Eiffel Tower in trees, factory and field and model railway. I'm just going to take those and hit open. And there they are in the panel. And I'm just going to move them into my assets folder. So there they are. Once you have a lot of footage in here and it's difficult to find things, there is also a search bar in here if you need to type the name of something and you should see it. Now, if you've imported something by accident and you want to get rid of it, you can always highlight it and hit backspace, or you can come down and click on this little icon here and that will get rid of it. Now, if we expand this tab using the blue line, there is lots of useful information about our assets here. And if your categories here look different to mine, you can just grab them and drag them around until you have them in a good order. The most useful ones I find are going to be the frame rate and this video info that tells us what dimensions the assets are. So I'm just going to move those two close to the names. So now I'll just move this panel back across. We've also got this little icon here saying 8BPC. This is going to change the color depth of our project. Now you probably don't need to worry about this, but if you do want to make things look better quality when you come to export them, you can change this to 16 or 32. It's just set on eight at the moment. Now every computer will be different with this, but on all computers, eight will probably be the fastest and 32 will probably look the best. I'm just going to leave it on eight for the moment because you can always build your project in eight and then change it to 32 right at the very end just before you do your export if you want the best quality. Now I know we haven't got to this yet, but just to explain these next settings in the composition window, I'm actually going to grab our model railway clip and I'm just going to drag it down to the timeline because now we can just see all of these controls here. Firstly, we might want to zoom in or out on our shot here, and we can do that just down here by changing this value. Now at the moment it's set to fit, and that means that if I grab our blue line around our composition window, and I was to resize that, you can see that that image is just fitting to the screen wherever I drag it. Alternatively, we might want to zoom in and get really close, and we can pick a percentage here, so maybe 200 or 400, that would get us in really close to see a detail, or we could pick a percentage further out if we needed to see our edges. And a good shortcut for changing the size like this is to scroll with your mouse wheel. I'm just scrolling at the moment with the mouse wheel, and that is scrolling forwards and backwards, for in and out. Most of the time though, I would normally just leave this set at fit, unless, as I say, I was working on some small details or needed to see the edges very clearly. 
Next we have our preview resolution displayed here. This at the moment says full and we've got half, third, quarter and auto as these other settings. Now if it's set on full at the moment, if I hit spacebar for play, you'll see that we have to wait for this green line to fill up before our clip will play. Now at the moment that's not much of a problem because it's only one layer and it's pretty simple. If we had a lot of layers though, this green line can take a very long time to fill up if your preview resolution is set on full. So if that's the case, if your computer is pretty slow and the green line is just really taking its time to appear, it might be a good idea to knock down the quality, perhaps to something like half or third or quarter, and that will display the quality in a lower resolution just so that you can see what you're doing and you can work faster. And don't worry, whatever you select here will not affect your final export quality. This is just the preview that we're seeing as we're building it. If you enjoy this teaching style and you want to see the rest of the lessons, then you can of course buy the full mini course or learn more about it by clicking on the link below. It's called After Effects Essentials and it's 30 video lessons to get a complete beginner up and running quickly with the program Adobe After Effects to get results like I do in my VFX work. And it even comes with a downloadable selection of my footage to practice with. Happy movie making and I'll see you next time.